How are you? Hi, James. Ladies, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm <laughs> watching the episode when you probably guys first got started. That was wild. Trust <laughs> me, that was crazy. Strategy, <laughs> betrayal, sabotage, and a killer all celebrity cast. It's season two of Peacock's Emmy Award winning reality series. The traitors and man, was it wild watching to I have Sandra Diaz Twine and Sheree Whitfield. Good morning, ladies. Sheree. Sheree Whitfield. Sheree, okay. Let's get started with you, Sheree. When you first found out about this and read what it was about, what did you think? When I first found out about traitors? Yes. Yeah. I was I was excited. I actually, you know, wanted to, I'm on NBC, so I wanted to support the show. I watched it and I fell in love. And I actually from season one, I got so many people watching season one mm -hmm. and everybody was like glued to it. So when opportunity came for me, I'm like, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. I like a little murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Sandra? Um, I was watching the first season because I was watching what my fellow survivor uh, mates were out there doing, Sari and Stephanie. And um, and then I got glued to the tube like I just binged through it. And then I actually when I got the call for the Trader season two, then I went on just like Sheree and we watched the UK mm -hmm. and the um, uh, Australian, okay. New Zealand, whatever was out there. I was doing my homework. <laughs> what did you guys think when you got to the castle? I thought it was beautiful countryside. Absolutely gorgeous beautiful and the castle just grand grand everything about it was over the top yeah there's peacocks on the property they really caught my eye um the castle is humongous um and that's that's why i say that it's not as easy as it looks on tv because the castle is so big yeah. we're spread out throughout all these rooms so you don't hear and see every single thing it's a lot of hearsay and then you got to go to the banishment table and figure it out and so it it's hard and one thing for me is like watching it like we always thought dan was so quiet <clears throat> dan is doing a lot of talking a lot of talking and a lot of plotting but like she said it was so spread out Whenever we saw Dan or we talked to Dan, it was just like, you know, no conversation really about, you know, the game. Did you ever ex ex suspect who the traders were at any time? I did. I did. I pinpointed poverty early on. When we first got to the castle, we were able to meet. It was kind of like a meet and greet. We got to spend time with everyone, you know, all the new cast. And I talked to her quite a bit and she was happy she's from Georgia she was laughing and then I promise you days later it just went stone face cold like for the entire rest of the game and she wasn't really as talkative and then also with uh, Phaedra I know Phaedra very well I knew her before the housewives and I felt like her she was different as well Phaedra is usually you know more talkative and you know we're here to play a game Phaedra was just la di da di da di and she never wanted to she never wanted to talk game I'm like Phaedra who give me a name who do you think girl I don't know or you know she never wanted to talk game when all of us are trying to figure out what's going on who's the traitor who's the faithful but she was just kind of mm, you know in her own little world not worried about a thing Sandra how did you like Alan Cumming as the host Oh my God, he's so witty, he's so funny. And then um, at the missions, he was always picking on me and laughing at me <laughs> and about me. And uh, I thought he was awesome. And uh, we, we keep talking about his wardrobes and his quotes. And um, he is the perfect host for the traders. Like, hands down. No replacement, like absolutely not. Like this is for him and, and we love him. There's not a single person on the cast that doesn't have love for him. Yeah. You know, that first episode I saw when you guys got in the water, how physical was this for you, physicality? Because you got to be an, a little bit of an athlete there, didn't you? No, my God. First of all, we were tied. Like, my hands were tied. Me and Bergie were one of the last ones to untie ourselves. 
And by the time, or we had assistance. And by the time that happened, they were already in the water and bringing back puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. And Bergie looks at me and says, what do we do, Sandra? And I look to the left and I look to the right. I was like, well, there's one boat here. We don't have a choice. And I said, I wasn't going in the water. And here I am, Bergie, get in the boat. And we're out there. Yeah. Nothing on the traders was easy. I thought it would be a, a walk in the park compared to Survivor worse. Wow. Ladies, I really appreciate it. I and, and the episode I saw was just crazy. Uh, everybody was dressed and looked very well when you first got there. But after the water, <laughs> everything goes downhill. Everything Went downhill after that. <laughs> you always got to look good on day one. You got well, day one. They need, to, they need to do the water challenge. Maybe six episodes. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Gotta watch the traders. It is season two Peacock's Emmy Award winning reality series. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank, Thank you. you. James.